In January 2012, I posted a video titled 22 Handgun for Self-Defense. And yes, that was a question, introducing the concept and getting some dialogue going regarding the option of dropping down to the bottom floor of defense calibers, a 22 long rifle in a short barrel handgun. In that video, we were testing the CCI 40 grain mini mag. We're going to continue that dialogue today with the CCI Stinger 32 grain copper plated hollow point. I'm showing you the Ruger 1022 rifle as a point of comparison. You may have noticed a moment ago the advertised velocity of the Stinger is 1,640 feet per second. Out of this 16 inch barrel, we're coming in at 1,591 feet per second. That is a 10 shot average, so it's about 3% off of the advertised velocity. What's going to happen when you drop down to the handgun, which is our focus of this video, three and a half inch barrel Ruger SR22. 10 shot average here drops all the way down to 1,073 feet per second. That is a 35% reduction in muzzle velocity. I've lost my daylight and the winds have gone from 5 miles per hour up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. So we're going to do this indoors. We have a block from clearballistics.com, 16 inches in length, calibrated to be comparable to 10% ordnance gel. There's my BB shots. And the average on that is three and a half inches. That is perfect. Going to have the camera set up over here on the tripod to give you the side view. Taking the shot from 10 feet with the Ruger SR22. And I have four layers of denim. That is an IWBA testing protocol. Hey, it's bonus night. You're not going to see just one or two, but three shots into the clear block. The first was a complete pass through into the first water jug. Decide to go ahead and take two carefully placed shots following that. Those are in the block, but they penetrated very deep. That is just about the coolest thing, using an LED and no other lights on this. Angling down the side, you can't see my markings on the ruler, but these permanent cavities are obviously coming in at different depths. Each of these is running about two and a half to three inches in length, including on the pass-through. Speaking of pass-through, there is the bullet from that first shot. Key hold into the first jug of water, no expansion, and a plug of denim in that very small hollow point cavity. Here's the track for that second shot. It just about penetrated all the way through. This is a 16 inch block and it's coming in at 14 and a half inches and from this perspective it did not expand. And then we have the third shot coming in from the side on this. There's that larger permanent cavity moving along and it stopped at 13 and 3 8 inches and it tumbled. It is going backwards at this point. So what was the theory? Why did I throw the denim back on the block, load up the Ruger 1022 rifle, and tag this from the same distance at 10 feet? The theory was we didn't have enough velocity for these to open up. That wasn't a problem with the rifle. 10 feet, approximately 9.5 inches of penetration, and we'll get a close-up in just a moment, but it did very much expand. Here's the track from the rifle shot, the 1022. That cavity begins about an inch in, runs 3 inches in length, approximately 3 quarters of an inch wide. Let's track that. Seems like we're working through the solar system. And finally, we did have that expanded bullet coming in at approximately nine and a half inches. There were small plugs of denim in each of the hollow points coming out of the SR-22. Considering the pass-through over 16 inches on that first shot, average penetration on the three shots from the handgun were well over 15 inches. 
that's in the range of where you want center fire defensive calibers to stop, but keep in mind the low energy of the 22 and the fact these are varmint loads designed to expand from a rifle. I'll be anxious to hear your thoughts on the rifle shot, by the way. Granted, you're not going to walk the streets with a 1022 slung over your shoulder, but the concept of using one for home defense with high velocity hollow points such as this may be suitable in some situations. That's an entirely different topic. So what do you think? These little 22 hollow points may not expand out of a short barrel due to the loss in velocity. If you're absolutely set on using a 22 handgun for protection, you might be better served going with the 40 grain solid, similar to what we tested back in 2012. Just be aware of the trade-offs with the 22 if that is your choice. It is low recoil, it is inexpensive, and it can be a good penetrator as we've seen tonight with the bullet not expanding. On the other hand, it is low energy, it is unpredictable, it can be unreliable. Just be aware of the trade-offs. Cannot emphasize that enough. Be safe with your choice and thanks for watching.